welcome back. Welcome to my channel. I am about to read the cards for you. This reading is for the full moon in Capricorn. It's a blue moon, the buck moon. It's peaking on Sunday, Sunday morning, um, Eastern Standard Time at 6.17 a.m. That's July 21st, sorry. And uh, while that will be the peak of the full moon, um, you'll be able to feel its energies and work with its magic for a few days, the day before, the day after. The moon will still be in its full, bright, shiny strength and power for, you know, the full day before, day after that you can use these um, practices that I'm going to be talking about. So this is a special time, a special moment um, in the, uh, when we're working with moon manifestation. It's, it's the blue moon. It's a rare opportunity for us. And this is the full moon. So the position of the sun and the moon and the earth all in alignment. The sun's light bathing the moon and the moon showering those energies upon the whole earth. The sun is like the father, the masculine energy. The moon is the mother, Luna, the female, the feminine energy. And the two coming together in these signs at this time is like Capricorn sun, I mean, I'm sorry, Capricorn moon and Cancer sun. It's like the, the male and female energies are intertwining and combining to produce something, something amazing for us. And of course, our own thoughts and our own energies affect our own manifestations in many ways. And so it's really important for us as a collective or as many people as possible to stay especially positive during this time so that whatever we produce is going to be more beautiful, more calming, more abundant for everyone. And so please keep in mind at all times, of course, to keep our energies and our positivity as high our vibes as high as we can but this perhaps is a very significant time in a way that it gives us more power those energies from the sun and the moon combining showering on the earth is a is a vibration and a frequency for us to all you know it, whatever we're dealing with whatever we're feeling at this time is going to be amplified and a blue moon period is about two and a half year period so that's a long time for whatever we're working on now concentrating on now to manifest okay so the moon is like the mother and the full moon is like the middle of our journey through life she's reaching the highest potential and creating something that will leave our mark on this world, creating our legacy. The mother can represent having children, of course, but it could also be, and it may not be having physical children, but also giving birth to an idea, creating art, starting a business, or just creating a life that one enjoys. This is a chance every full moon period Every full moon is a chance to remind us to step into our power with courage and intention. The full moon is the most powerful of all lunar phases. It's the time to harvest the fruits of your endeavors and complete the plans that you've made during the new moon. And while we can set intentions for the new moon to occur, to come to fruition during the full moon within a couple weeks. In all, um, the way it works uh, more specifically is for a six-month period. Today, or at this time, we're 
working with Capricorn moon, which is full because it's opposite of the sun, which is in Cancer. And those are on an axis, Cancer and Capricorn, that work together, male and female, mother, father. And they, um, so when the, the new moon in Capricorn occurred last winter, we are now six months later to the full moon in Capricorn. And the full moon in Capricorn is going to bring together the completion of what you had planned six months ago with the new moon in Capricorn. So this is a magical time for us each month to develop our spiritual selves and renew our energies. As I was saying before, a day or two before and after the peak of the full moon is a good time for uh, doing the rituals that are great to do during the full moon period. Um, those rituals include making moon water, taking a jar, a glass jar of water, and setting it out into the moonlight overnight, perhaps adding, if you want, wish, a crystal like this quartz, which would be totally safe in the water. You would want to put safe crystals in the water. Um, but if you wanted to do this, and these are the kind, this is the kind of crystal that amplifies energy, the quartz crystals. You might want to put that in your water and then you can use that moon water the next day. It'll be complete. And so you, you'll take it out. You can use it. You can sip it. You can ingest the, um, the energies or you can put it in your bath. You can water your plants with it, your garden. It's special, but it is a special, you can cleanse objects with it. It's your moon, your moon water will have the energy of that, of the intentions that you set in it and that full energy of that moon light charged fully by the sun. So this is, this is the energy that you'll be imbuing into the water. You can also charge your crystals in stones during this time. Every month I charge all of my crystals in the, um, in the moon, under the full moon, in order to keep them vibrant and energetic. You can take a moon bath. You can soak in the salts or um, maybe even add your moon water to the moon bath. Um, another interesting uh, ritual during this time for manifesting abundance is using your windowsill that captures the light of the moon and you can place money there or a coin, a wallet or your bank card. Put it on this windowsill and uh, let the moon charge that up. Give you more energy. Give your money more energy, more power. This is a Capricorn moon. It's about um, it's about manifesting and developing and working for, you know, the work that you do, producing something, you know, abundant and tangible. Another thing to remember during this time is that charity is especially blessed at this time. It, you should think about giving someone or or some uh, organization some of your money, time, energy. And whatever you give out during this time will come back to you even stronger than at other times. This is a very good time for charity. It's also a good time to gather with women. The full moon, uh, the moon itself uh, through her phases symbolizes the life of the woman. The maiden at the new moon, the full moon is the mother, and then at the waning moon in is the crone and she she is uh, developing into um, um, her wisdom and her uh, she's honing her she's passing her skills I'm, I'm sorry on to the younger ones and she's transitioning into a new phase which will be into the new moon a new life our death and rebirth and so the moon uh, gathering with women at this time is traditional. And so uh, women like to gather uh, to share, to laugh, love, dance, sing, um, create things, art, music. 
it's a beautiful time for that. And as I said before, we are in the Capricorn moon. This is a time to release control and trust the universe. Capricorn moon is a very strong, Capricorn itself, a very strong worth, work ethic and energy. To, it's a good to be reminded to move through any feelings of hopelessness that you might have, feel at this time. And the way to cope with that would be to make plans. Making a plan is a far better use of your time than hopelessness. Those born under the Capricorn moon, you'll be feeling these energies even more strongly. They need to learn uh, to take care of themselves instead of working themselves to exhaustion. Those born under the Capricorn moon are emotionally self-reliant they feel best when they are in control of a situation or accomplishing tasks. The Capricorns are the workhorses of, of the Zodiac. The full moon in Capricorn, the buck moon. You must work harder to finish what you started six months ago. That's what this moon is calling for us to do. This is not the time to settle for no but to tackle obstacles once and for all. This is also a sign that the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So you've been through a lot, you've been working hard, especially if you've been working on something, on an intention that you set, uh, set for yourself six months ago during the new moon in Capricorn. But this full moon cycle is, is signaling that this is the end of the tough cycle. Okay, so we are getting to the end of this. Ask yourself, how hard are you willing to work for what you want? Effort is required. Um, work issues may come up at this time. Um, the end of a rough time is forecast at this time. Consider how ambitious you are and whether you are prepared to pull out all the stops, to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. In love, this can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation that you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. Okay? Okay, and as I said, um, the blue moon, this is a blue moon. So every two and a half years, two full moons occur in the same month or the same sign. And that's what we're experiencing here. We had a, a Capricorn full moon at the very beginning of cancer season. And this full moon in Capricorn will occur at the very end of Capricorn season, entering into Leo season, which is represented by the sun. So this is a, a particularly poignant moment because the, the moon is ruled by cancer, or cancer is ruled by the moon, I should say, and Leo is ruled by the sun. And on this day of this particular Capricorn moon, full moon, this particular buck moon, this particular blue moon will also be igniting the energies of both Cancer and Leo at the same time. They'll be merging together basically at this time because we're going to be so far into Cancer season and so close to that to Leo season. And that's another exciting point about this particular blue moon because it's it's our soul and our emotions, our mother and our father coming together, our divine parents coming together and creating this magical time, okay? It's, it's, it's very exciting to me. Um, it's a super, every blue moon, because it's so rare, it's, so, it's like the moon got, got a double dose of Capricorn energy, okay? So we, we already had our dose of Capricorn energy at the last full moon, and here we are getting another full dose of Capricorn sun onto the moon. And so it's a supercharged full moon. 
Every full moon is a very powerful time, but the blue moon is extremely powerful. It's supercharged. It gives off a much higher energy and frequency than the regular full moon. So don't let this time go to waste as you create some serious magic. Now, as I was saying, generally the full moon is a culmination um, of what was began what began six months ago but that doesn't mean that you don't have magic right now we're going to talk about that when we get into our reading okay and so you can use this tarot reading and any other uh, signs and messages that you get from the universe as a way to solidify your intentions and help you to create the intentions that work best for you. I would also advise to look at where Capricorn is in your natal chart, what house it's in. Look at um, where Leo and Cancer fall in your natal chart as well. Try to work with those houses to formulate an intention. And because the power, the, the full moon is so powerful, it is possible that during this moment, your intentions that seemed far-fetched or too hard to believe to come true, those could be, this could be this magic moment that you need to, to create the miracle, to, to feel that miracle, to actually witness something rare to take place for you. And so, let me uh, explain. Um, this is a positive sign, this, um, this blue moon, is if you've ever felt like you were asking too much of the universe, whatever you were asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. It is important that you believe in it. If you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never happen, then guess what? It won't happen. So just be grateful for this moment that we have and remember to believe in your dreams, okay? It's, it's not impossible. Okay, so I want to thank you for joining me. We're getting, we're getting ready to do some readings for you. I'm going to have a special reading for you to, um, to help you to understand this full moon energy and how to work with it in order to make your dreams come true. So let's get into it. Thank you. All right, Aries, how are you? I'm just about to uh, do a full moon spread for you. Um, this is going to tell us a lot of information about um, how, how things have been for us through this last six months. Uh, since the new moon in Capricorn, we're at the full moon in Capricorn. So we're going to see um, what spirit has to tell us about the, um, you know, how far we've come and where we are now and what we have to look forward to and what we should be wanting, trying to release at this time. So there's a lot of information coming your way. Some things that are going to help you. I hope it resonates with you. Um, I want to go ahead, uh, by the way, and add uh, in this little uh, nugget. <laughs> um, if you, um, can, if you can identify and, uh, name s at least some of the crystals that I used in the introduction, um, I had, uh, lots of crystals out, but there were six different types. If you can, if you would put in the comments what those types were, if you're accurate with those, then I will send you, I will find a way to send you um, a, a crystal from me. And um, if you, if nobody guesses them right, then I will choose the ones who have come the closest to getting it right. I'll give you a hint. They have to do with Cancer and Capricorn. So, um, yeah, go ahead and make your guess um, and put it in the comments and see if you can win or receive the free crystals. Um, I'm not sure what it will be yet, but it'll be something, you know, something that is meaningful and useful. And so anyway, um, yeah, there's that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start with your full moon spread and we're going to have six cards out and we're going to clarify also with six more cards. Then I'm going to get spirit animal cards involved and then we'll have a bonus reading. And since it's still the Capricorn is energy strong today, full moon Capricorn, we're going to continue to use the career and life oracles for the bonus reading. I think that in the near future, I'll be changing those bonus readings up a little bit, maybe do some love readings. But for now, for Capricorn, we're going to stick with the career and life. And so for now, we'll just go ahead and start uh, with your spread. All right, here we go, Aries. So Spirit, please let us know what Aries needs to know about this full moon in Capricorn, this blue moon full moon information. Ooh, we don't want to do crazy stuff. I got this. I got this. Okay. We'll just remember that for future reference, but we're going to start fresh here. And if they want to come out, they can come out again. All right. First for Aries, please. Thank you. Aries. All right. Aries. I think I'm going to, I'm called to shuffle shuffle. Okay. I know it's taken a little time, but everything's time stamped now, so you can you can skip around if you want to. All right, here we go. Okay. Now, okay, so in this first position, we're going to find out what it is that you've created since that new moon in Capricorn six months ago. Um, it might be some growth or, or some kind of changes that you've made. Let's see what that is. Okay. It looks like the five of pentacles here. So you, I would assume that means that you have transcended this, that you, we're going to clarify all of these in just a moment. Um, I mean, it is possible that instead of growth that you could have, um, you know, got stayed in this but i think the i i really believe i can feel i feel like this card is telling me that you have moved past this five of pentacles you are no longer in a poverty mindset that you've overcome that um somehow or another you have over you have outgrown this situation okay we'll we'll clarify that more in just a moment but that's my feeling that I have right now. And this, uh, this position is where you are right now. Where are you now? Okay, Aries, you're at the Knight of Swords situation. So you're moving fast. You're, you're thinking fast. You you're moving forward with your ideas. And, and you're, you might not even be uh, able to keep up with what you are, what's coming out of your mind and your your heart your mouth mouth um your speech um so this is this is a pretty uh fast super fast energy air on air so you're really um charging it forward with your ideas that's what i feel right there and what are you becoming aware of at this time or what should you becoming aware of at this time okay strength all right so this is um of course the, the major arcana it's the um strength card uh so it's indicates a um let's see here passion power courage um I think that's something that you're feeling now. Charisma. Devotion. You know, Leo energy. And Leo, uh, we're right at the cusp of the new Leo energy. We're very close to the Lionsgate portal, which is going to be extraordinarily powerful this year, more than last year, even more than next year, because it's, um, not just the eighth of, of the eighth month, 
the eighth day of the eighth month, but it's the eighth month of the eighth day, eighth day of the eighth month of the eighth year, 2024 is an eight year. So this is an eight, eight, eight. And you've got the lemniscate there above her head. Eternal. This is, you know, we're going to talk about that in a future video, but it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, so you've got compassion, discipline, self-control going on right here. This is what you need to be aware of. Okay. I think that that's something that's, um, appropriate for these other cards here. Because if you uh, are moving out of this and you're embodying this, you're, you're moving away from this poverty mindset and you are moving very quickly with your ideas, you have to be, mm, you have to have discipline and control and like the way this figure is having control over this beast here you know you have to slow down maybe a little bit and and make sure that you're taking care of things properly all right let me go ahead and get the clarifiers on that top row before we go into the bottom which is about releasing this is something else we we want to uh oh my goodness we want to um, clarify these a little bit more for Aries, please. Thank you. Help me help us to understand and find out what it is we need to know about these right now for Aries. Mm. Yes. All right, here we go. Okay. Now this popped out right first. This is your card, Aries. This is the two of wands here. And it came out first. So I think it applies to this first one of where you have, um, what you have created, where you, how far you've come, basically. What challenge, what changes have you made? It shifts. Um, instead of being in a poverty mindset, instead of thinking that, there's nothing, you know, there's no help for you or that. Um, it looks like the tree of life is upside down here on this one. That's interesting. I just now noticed that. But um, it's instead of being in this, of calling attention to your weaknesses, of, you know, uh, limiting yourself by what you by lower vibrational thoughts and ideas and things like that, feelings. Instead of that, you're in this stage now where you believe in your personal power, where you know that you are strong and powerful and you have, you have dominion. You have the world. You don't have nothing. You don't, you're not in this situation anymore. You have the world now. And you're take you're planning, you're making first steps towards your 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 goals. You know, you're making those decisions. You're 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 changing this whole mindset now. It's all it's this is over. Now you're here. You're moving forward. You're you're taking the steps. You're you're getting there. You're going, going, going. You know, um, you might be hesitating a little bit on some things, but. Um, you seem to be, um, moving definitely in the right direction with passion. You have some, you have a lot of passion now. You're not, you're no longer in the five of pentacles. Okay. So let's see what we have here. That, that knight of swords is where you are now. Let's see what that, how that's clarified. Okay. On the world card you have here. Everything, this is an achievement. This is, um, you are completing this whole cycle. You're accomplishing, you, you're reaching success and mastery. That's another thing about the night, uh, an action and mastery. And so you're using your ability, your ideas and your thoughts and your words 
your communication and you're using it to uh, to master your own completion and your accomplishments and your goals and the world card says everything you've worked for is coming together so this is confirmation that you are definitely on the right track okay you're on the right track you're doing just fine okay and then here we have what are you becoming aware of or what should you become aware of and you had the strength card and it's clarified by the ace of cups so this is a beautiful card this is a this is a this is an abundance of of love self-love abundance of new beginnings and prosperity this is enlightenment unconditional love new feelings beauty self-love and pleasure and you combine that with the strength card and you know you have a beautiful picture there i mean the strength is I think the strength is bringing you to your Ace of Cups or the Ace of Cups is giving you strength. Whatever it is, something something that's giving you new, refreshing water, life um, is giving you strength as well and making you stronger and making you more determined and more self-controlled. And it's bringing you to the world card. So this is a beautiful landscape right here you're, you're looking, you're dealing with here, Aries. All right, let's get to the next row. The bottom row is about release. What should you release during this full moon? Uh, you want to release the things that are holding you back, the things that are not helping you any longer. Everything has its place in your life, but there's a time to let things go. And the full moon is a good time for uh, recognizing what those things are and working with that energy to let things go. So we're going to find out more about that. And then once we release things, more of this cups is coming in. Ace of cups. Okay. The world is coming to us. So here we go. The first card here is what is it time for me to surrender? Conflict. Surrender that conflict. Okay. Look, <laughs> five five the fives the conflict the challenges surrender that the competition give up on that competition just be yourself don't worry about you know aries is a pretty competitive sign dynamic energetic um so it's it's a good idea to you know tamp down that right now just focus on your own, your self-love, your self-control. Um, you know, if this kind of energy is causing conflict, you need to tamp it down. You know, just think about releasing that kind of thing. I, I know it's not that I'm Aries' son, so I, I understand. The conflict seems to find me sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I'm surrounded by people with a lot of conflicts and it's not that I interact with them or I uh, have problems with them. A lot of times this is conflict with my passions. Like, you know, I have so many things that, that I want to do and I might have, you know, this might be all me. This is all of my passions are competing for my energy. And maybe for me or someone like me, it means that I need to, uh, overcome that or release that by, you know, focusing on one thing at a time, for instance, make a lot of thing, uh, things a lot easier for me, I'm sure. Okay. And, uh, the next one is how can I let go of what is no longer for me? How? Oh, wow. You've got the two of cups. So partnership. Okay. Um, I think this is, I always think of the Two of Cups as a divine partnership. It's like you and your higher self. You know, this is like uh, the fool, sort of. Um, or maybe he's the fool, maybe he's the magician, and this is the high priestess. Um, but the point is, this is a spiritual connection here. 
and it could be you and your higher self. So if you want to say, how are you going to, how am I going to overcome this? Well, uh, it could be drawing closer to your higher self, to the divine, getting help from them. Or it could be a, a partnership, a real partnership, like a, a partnership like with, um, um, you know, a, 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 a person in 3D world. It might be that. Um, okay, let's just, we'll clarify this in just a moment. But I'm going to, the last card here, it says, what resources are supportive to me? So how, what, what do I have to work with to help me with this? And here I have the Ten of Cups. So it looks like I have a happy, happily ever after here. Um, I have all these, this joy and happiness, um, abundance of, you know, family love. And I think that the, um, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups together, um, it's, it's paints this beautiful, look, picturesque situation where, um, this image can be a resource, can be a, a, a motivator to do what has to be done, to release what has to be released in order to manifest this. Um, but let's go ahead and clarify all of these things with the, the next deck. And that's going to help us to understand more clearly what it is Spirit wants us to let go of and how and, and what it's going to take and so forth. So let's go ahead and see for Aries. Thank you. Clarify for Aries. All right. All right, the first card, the five of wands is something to surrender the conflict. That's clarified by the knight of wands, okay? So the knight of wands, wands says, there, there's a, a message on this card that says, now is a good time to do what you want to do, okay? So the knight of wands, if you see, he only has one wand here. One wand at a time, one passion. And he's so focused on it. He's so, um, he has so much courage and he, he's going for it. He's moving there. He's taking action on his passion. And that's what you need to, that's how, that's what it's time to surrender is, um, I think it clarifies this. Surrender this, um, the, all of the passions that you have conflicting for your time, Aries. Choose the most, the one that gives you this or the one that you have the most strength with. Choose that one and embody this passionate action of the Knight of Wands to carry you forward and to, to take that passion forward, that fire. That's what you're, you're supposed to do. Let go of some of the things for now. You can get back to those later if you want to, but for now, try to focus on one thing, one passion at a time. And this, this also is like, you know, you have to make, you might have to choose between two passions, but, um, you have to make a decision or a balance with two, but that's, that's the key there. I'm, I'm almost, I am certain. Okay. So how can you let go? Well, the two of cups is clarified by the six of pentacles. And the six of pentacles also indicates spiritual help. All of the sixes on the lower, the minor arcanas are um, expressing a level of uh, spiritual intervention. Okay. So like when you're in the fives, you're kind of, you're coming, you're changing, you're con, you're facing conflict and, and, and uncomfortable growth. And, but when you reach the six, the level of the six, you have invited spirit into your life and spirit is 
helping you. It's guiding you. So spirit is helping you here. That's how you can let go. Allow spirit to help you. Allow spirit to, you know, get closer to that, to your higher self or to God or to whatever you want, the universe. I call it my higher self and my divine self. And um, so get closer to that and accept the gifts that it, that spirit gives you. You know, spirit is going, see, spirit is giving you what you need materially um, to, to keep, to, to grow in success. Um, it's giving what's fair to give you. It's karmic, it's, it's balance, it's justice, and um, it's give and take. You, you put forth the effort and you take back from spirit the, the success and the gifts and the growth, okay? This is, this is a beautiful card. You have cups, love, and you have pinnacles for the physical prosperity, all right? And then on the Ten of Cups, as for resources that support you during all of this release, that's clarified by the Page of Cups. Okay, that's, that's a beautiful card too because it's sweetness, gentleness, intuition, kindness, and sensitivity. So in order to, this is um, a gift of a message of some, I feel like for one thing, this is your dreams. This is your, you're following your dreams. You're being, um, playful with your, with your imagination. And that also is tied into using this image of your 10 of cups that's to come using that as a motivator. Um, being uh, kind and loving and precious and beautiful and charismatic and um, sensitive. All of those things are going to help you to overcome um, or to deal with the release, the releasing of these um, extra extraneous um, um, act passions that are competing for your attention. Um, so, you know, follow your dream here. And this is your dream, the Ten of Cups. This is what you're looking forward to, this bliss and happiness and completion, finally. Finally getting the happily ever after that you've been wanting for forever. And so... Yeah, this is just another confirmation to follow your dream. Don't let your emotions get in the way. Okay. Um, yeah, you're going you're gonna to make it. Just keep going. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get some spirit animal cards out. We're going to see what they have to add to this conversation. For Aries, please. Thank you. Three cards for Aries, spirit animals to help and to guide us. Okay. All right. Okay, the first one, spirit says coyote. All right, this is this is it right here. Playfulness. This is a reminder to not take things too seriously. And bring more balance between wisdom and playfulness. You might need to lighten up about a matter that has been on your mind for a while. Okay. Yeah, be the be the page of cups. Be the coyote. Be playful. All right. That's important. Important message for you. Um, give and take, you know. Um, don't, don't take things so seriously. Like, you know, try not to be in this situation where, you know, you have worries and doubts and you know, things like that. Just, just be a little more playful and, and, uh, things will go a lot 
smoother for you and it'll feel better. The other, the next card, Eagle, Vision. It is time to look inward with an attentive eye. Allow your heart to guide you and opportunities you never dreamed were possible will present themselves when you least expect it. Get ready for greatness. Okay? That's pretty encouraging. It makes me think that this uh, Ten of Cups is right there, right there for us. And the next card is Love. You have found your soulmate, or they are just around the corner. Remember that when two souls are destined to be together, they always find their way back to each other. All those things you had to go through were worth it. Um, this reminds me of this Two of Cups here. Love, and also, of course, the Ace of Cups. And also this one, the Soulmates. Happily Ever After. Everything you've been through, all those things you had to go through were worth it. All right. So there we go, Aries. That's a beautiful picture for you. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that's the end of this part of the reading. We're going to have a, another one of those um, career and life oracle mini readings. I'm doing that, I'm choosing to do that one more time here for the Capricorn full moon. Capricorn being the uh, the sign most um, most applicable to career status and um, amb ambition. So we're going to go with those uh, that deck one more time. I think in the future we might be doing some love readings or something like that for bonus readings. But for now, I'm going to continue using this. Um, career in life for, for, for Capricorn, Capricorn moon, full moon, blue moon. All right. So let's check it out here. Okay. Let's get three cards for Aries for the Capricorn moon career in life. Thank you. What does Aries need to know about career in life at this time? Okay, first card we get is the future. Plan for the future. Oh, look at this. This reminds me of, ooh, where he is he? Where is my guy? Uh oh, there he is. There he is. See, he's holding the globe. Plan for the future while living in the present. You are always supported by spirit. Your psychic abilities can bring you prosperity. That's exactly what this card's doing. He's planning for the future and he's believing in his personal power. Okay, these cards are very close. Okay, next one, gestures. You may be asked to help someone out or you may need a hand. Give deserved praise to others and you will receive recognition too. Here we have this one. This is exactly what it's saying here. Sharing your success builds more success. Good advice here. Gestures. Charity. Uh, the full moon is a good time for charity. And just helping someone out. Just being there for someone. This is very good advice for you, Aries. You may be asked to help someone out or you may need a hand. Give deserved praise to others. And you will receive recognition too. Very, very interesting there. I love how these cards match up. All right, one more. Cutting ties. You may need to leave your current position and look for something better. Ending a job doesn't mean burning bridges. Go with grace. Letting go with love. Okay. Um, let's see if I can find that card. I think that would be the world card, cutting ties and leaving your current position, looking for something better, a better new world, a whole new world. And of course, you don't want to burn bridges. You want to go, you want to release everything with love. 
everything. Okay. All right, Aries, that was pretty intense, I think. Um, I really appreciated that. I hope you enjoyed that as well. Um, so, yeah, I just want to uh, thank you again for being here, for sharing this moment with me, this full moon, this moment of uh, intensity and, and change and, and new paradigm shifts all, all across the globe and the universe at this time. Well, I, I don't know about the universe, but definitely in the world that we're in. Um, it's something to really look forward to, something to um, move through with grace and poise and preparation. You know, having this awareness uh, is going to help us. So I want to sh show my sincere gratitude toward you, you thanking you. Um, I also want to ask if you please would consider subscribing if you haven't already. I have made it a little bit easier for you if you happen to be watching on a TV screen. I know that's the way I like to watch videos. Um, so I've added an end screen to the video so that you can just navigate up and click on the subscribe button if you feel called to do that. Um, I know it doesn't cost you anything but that little effort, that extra effort there. Um, if you've made it this far, uh, you're almost there. Um, but it does, the, the effect that it has for me is tremendous, a tremendous boost. I do appreciate that. And also, I want to say that your likes and your comments, I, they help me to get better and better and better. And I feel myself getting stronger and stronger. And I really appreciate every single one. I love every like, every comment deep in my soul right now. I mean, I, I cannot take anything for granted. Um, I love each and every one of you as well. Um, I want to thank you all again for everything you do. And so with that being said, this offer that I have for right now, I'll see you next time and have a beautiful, beautiful, blessed new month, new year, new six months, new life. Um, that's it for now. Love and light.